Hey, welcome back to Let's Play Shadow the Edgehog, episode 17. I'm your host, Ultra Jester with an Escort. Hey, Westopolis again. Yeah, it's a bit of a short episode because we're just going to be blazing through here. We just got stuff to do, so uh, we're just going to cut right into it. Not going to worry about that, you know, continued story, you know, go with cutscene. We're just going to jump right into the action, and uh, we'll just do kind of the same thing we've already kind of done already. Uh, all right, so uh, is this the playthrough where stuff starts to happen? Maybe? Nope. Nope, nope. We're, we still got, well... All right, this is playthrough number five. Okay. That means that we are going to do the almost dark route. Almost dark yeah, route. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but the last ending we got where we just looked at Eggman and scowled at him for a bit, that wasn't almost dark? That was the dark version of the almost dark. <laughs> but, when, but when we hit that playthrough, we're going to be we're gonna do the hero version of the almost hero. Oh, Okay. So there, there's two, we always gotta do those two missions, and, you know, if, if it were me, I would have it till we just reach the, reach the, you know, just five of the ten endings. That, that would've been my decision. Five of the ten endings, you unlock the last story, but I guess you gotta make it feel complete or something. Well, I mean, if we're gonna do a project, might as well do all of it, right? Alright, well, uh, let's just say that, um, if you're wondering when things are gonna start happening... <laughs> oh, oh, damn! <laughs> Ha, how? We've done Westopolis. Yeah, this is the fifth time. How does oh, that man. happen? I, I, oh man, I, I think what happened is that uh, I about spoiled what's going to happen in playthrough six. <laughs> I, I, so, I think uh, the game is now self-aware. It's like guys are going to fuck with me. Guys are going to fuck with me. I don't want that to happen. So I'm just, I'm, I'm, just, I'm not going to say much more of it, but I'm just going to say that uh, just this last playthrough we'll do here, and then for the next playthrough that'd be playthrough six. There we We're go. We're gonna have some fun. I was about to say that that's where that's where it gets better. It was already good, but that's when it gets amazing. Yeah, we we, we gotta get our uh, we gotta get our feet wet first, you know. We got we gotta we gotta dunk ourselves in cold water before we go into the lava, so we don't get burned, you know. Yeah, I, I gotta say, for uh, never playing Shadow of the Hedgehog, just knowing of its infamy more than the actual game, uh, it hasn't been like. You know how people overreact to a bunch of things, right? So, when people told me, oh, Shadow of the Hedgehog, worst game ever, I was expecting uh, something a little worse than this. Yeah, I mean, we've, we've had some fun. Now, obviously, it's got some design problems, and it's, yeah. it does have some very, very glaring issues. <laughs> but I bet you if Sonic 06 would have turned into Sonic 07, and they would have spent a little bit more time kind of polishing this game up a little bit, I think we would have had something, uh, well... I'll just say special, and you can construe whatever you want from that. <laughs> and hey, we, we got the key, too, so that must be the key to finding good Sonic games, I guess. Hey, just hey, there we go. Turn, turn your fucking brain off. <laughs> exactly. I mean, you're playing a game about an anthropomorphic hedgehog that runs fast. I mean, it's it's kind of time to stop taking things so seriously, and that's kind of my... Uh, kind of my beef with the Sonic fan base is they take this game, this cartoony game, so seriously. Well, that's my problem with this game. It takes itself way too seriously. Uh, yeah, I, I have that beef too. I don't like I mean, it. I mean, I think I think we would have forgiven a lot of things if we would have had a scene, a cut scene, where Sonic looks at Shadow with a gun and he just goes, that looks so lame, Shadow. <laughs> I mean, really? You know, yeah. just just a little bit of self-awareness that maybe what you're playing isn't exactly uh, Michelangelo's 16th Chapel, you know? Yeah, exactly. Like, if, if I were to hear Sonic, like, like smurf, like, do that little snort laugh, just looking <laughs> at Shadow, I think that would that would actually fix everything. That would make me think, okay, Sega's aware. That's cool. But, you know, instead we've, we're just playing it straight by the books. Goodbye, animals, Doctor. Yeah. find the truth. And that's why they call you the ultimate life form. I'm not saying it all has to be fucking, you know, uh, nudge, nudge, you know, uh, you know, hey, Rank, you know, uh, wagging the eyebrows saying, hey, you know, this is kind of stupid, you know, yeah, it doesn't have to all be like that, because otherwise you end up with Rayman 3. Oh, you were telling me about that. I, see, Ugh. I fucking... I, I fucking love Rayman 2. It's like one of my favorite platforming adventure games because it just has this epic scope. It has this good feel to it. It's it's one of my favorite uh, Ubisoft games, certainly. 
Mm-hmm. Get the Dreamcast version is the best. And then they made Rayman 3, and I picked up the HD version for a PS3, and it, it, it had actual voice acting, and it was breaking the fourth wall, and it fucking made me puke, and I couldn't play it for more than 50 minutes at a time, and oh god! Oh god, <laughs> Rayman 3 is terrible. I'm trying to think, are there any games that have done the fourth wall breakage well? Because the only thing I can think of is the Simpsons game, but that kind of comes with the territory. Undertale, perhaps? Uh, yeah, I think Undertale was serious to a fault, but it knew when to when to poke fun. So, yeah, I'll, I'll go with Undertale. That's a good one. So It's all about tone, and this game has wildly inconsistent hey, tone. <laughs> <laughs> like, we go from damn fourth Chaos Emerald to Knuckles going, Hey, come on, Shadow, let's go! Yeah, you know, and, you know, I, I know, you, you can you make your choice. When you got to make choices, sometimes things don't always add up, but, you know, I don't know what I would have done to fix it. Maybe have the different cutscenes compared to what you did in the last one, and a bit more consistency between what you do, but I don't know, whatever. This game is, like, 12 years old, doesn't even matter now, because it's already released. <laughs> yeah, so anything I say is not going to make any fucking difference, like, maybe they'll change, because no, they, no, they didn't, they got worse after this. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to think of how many games came out after this that you can actually consider good. Like, Generations is the only one that comes strictly to mind. Uh, you're a bit more forgiving than I am. Well, even with Unleashed, even with that one, you gotta kind of squint your eyes and go, yeah, it's kind of better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I think that's it. You know, it might, it might See, work. I, I'm with you in that argument, because the, uh, the speed stages are awesome. Those, they are. The, that, that was what immediately yeah. got me. That's what I really liked. And of course, like I said, I'm more forgiving of those Werehog stages. Uh-huh, you yeah, know, they, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I'm an action game connoisseur, and they just don't bother me as much. Yeah, you know, they they were certainly a challenge, and certainly weren't all that functional. But I liked them all the same. Right, but uh, they were, it's, it's certainly better in the. I'm just talking about the 360 PS3 version again to reiterate. <laughs> Yeah, d- didn't we play through, like, a couple levels, or I believe you played through a couple levels of the PS2 version, and it is yeah. bad. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's uh, bad. All right, so you know how you have those open worlds in, uh, mm. in Sonic Unleashed? Yes, yes. Well, uh, in the PS2 version, they're all menus. Ew. Ew. You just end up talking to people who say they don't know anything until you find the one person who says, Oh, I know something, and then you talk to the other person who says the things they know something, but you end up finding people who say, I don't know anything. And you just go through endless, stupid, fuck dialogue. It doesn't make any difference. I mean, you can't even move around, so you can't even have the sun, the fun Sonic experience. You can't grind through the rails that you can in fucking Sp- in Spain, or run around like a werehog in America with the, with the lag and frame rate, because that's kind of funny to me for some reason, watching it run like that. <laughs> frame rate, fuck up. But no, you have anything like that? No. It's just menus! It's Completely taking all your menus. And if you like the speed stages so much, that's great. But hey, if you like the Werehog stages and you thought that they were kind of shit, well, that's great. There's only three times as much of them in the PS2 and Wii <laughs> versions, so have fun with that! Yeah, I was just thinking, uh, it's been a while since a PS2 game has come out, obviously, and I-, I can't even remember the last PS2 game I actually bought. But then I started thinking, you know, you have these next-gen consoles, PS3, Xbox 360, the Wii, and they all have different processing powers. And then I'm thinking... Sonic Unleashed for the 360 went fast. It felt fast. It was awesome to go that fast. And I'm thinking, oh yeah, PS2? It can't handle that. At all. No, it couldn't. And yet, for some weird reason, it scored higher than what? the PS3 360 version. Okay, who's the criminal who did that? Several people. Several people. What? So oh, everyone trashed this game. Oh, I know. They, they trashed the game, but I'm meaning, who's the idiot who thought the PS2 version with more Werehog levels, thought it was better than the 360 version, the version I liked. Well, uh, I think Game Informer was one of them. Oh, Game Informer, you're, you're so on and off with your scores. Sometimes you're really terrible, and sometimes you're just, you're just right. Yeah, yeah well. <sighs> Luckily, this stage is going by pretty fast. Dar- uh, Black Doom wanted us to turn on these uh, oh, lanterns yeah. to... Light up their ancient temple for two thousand, you know, two thousand years of been sleeping. I mean, I don't know what happened fifty years ago, but they're all pretty. They're all a straight line. They're all pretty easy to see. So that's good. That's good. (laughs) I'm just thinking, it's like my life is so dark. Shadow, light up my life, (laughs) please. And hey, look, there's a fifth one. Oh, so wow. But get, but get this. Okay. All right. So there's a cage. The the jewel is up there. There is a. A cage here that is sealed. 
And that, uh, that obviously leads to the spring that gets us back up there. So, the only way to open those things is to kill all the enemies, so... I'm gonna show these, these guys to, get, to go light his jewel what he wants. And he's saying, do not attack our soldiers! You traitor! What are you doing? Stop at once! No! Wait! My army! Mutiny! But but I do I'm following orders, sir! I just think he shadow throws up his arms and goes, What do you want from me? T is the worst leader ever! <laughs> he is It's embarrassing! <laughs> It's just like, stop killing my men, but also, could you do me this little favor here, please? When, when you get a chance, you know? No. You know, Let's that's great that he has, you know, all this technology and this, you know, giant and massive soldiers, but you see, the thing about humans and anthropomorphic creatures like this is that, well, we eat a lot of meat, we got a lot of protein in our brains, <laughs> so we're a lot denser, which means you're a lot fucking smarter than you, so it means you don't know shit, let me run your army, I'll take it over and do it right! And then shut up backhands, black doom face, or whatever it's called. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck! You bitch! Get out of here! It's President OTP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Been there, done that. Let's let's continue. <laughs> so I don't think I've ever asked you, Black Doom, his like little squid thing that follows you around. Is that like his face or is that like a minion? What is it? That's his eye. His eye. So I'm gonna say he like ripped off part of his shoulder Go. and he just like threw it at us. It's like, <laughs> yeah, play with this for a while. Exactly. It's just like, follow this hedgehog boy around. Yeah, don't worry about it. The doctor must have gone this way. So now we're back at Pumpkin Hill. I mean, Cryptic Castle. But uh, looking story-wise, we're going to be going neutral all the way again. Oh. And then uh, for the next five playthroughs, we're going to be getting the other versions of the playthroughs that we got. With a twist! <laughs> Whoa, you're, you all right there, buddy? I mean, the twist can't be that imaginable, right? <laughs> no. No. So, to hell with the doctor, the hell with Amy. We're just gonna blaze right on through. That's what I thought you were doing when you were coughing. Blazing through the level! <gasps> oh, smoke up! What? <laughs> it looks Not, like nothing. I'm nothing. Going I think the effects of the alcohol from the last episode are finally wearing off, so I'm kind of coherent. Ah! Why don't you take another sip then? Okay. Ah, you said it! You know what the hell? I will too, just because we're friends. Woo! <laughs> I won't let you drink alone. <laughs> so, this level, we've, we haven't been here in a long time, so we're not lighting lanterns anymore. And what is it that Amy needs us to do? She wants us to find Cream. <laughs> okay, we're who going in, neutral. <laughs> who, in, who in turn wants us to find Cheese, and oh, Damn, shit. Jesus, dude, come on. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm, I'm with you to a... Uh, to a fine line here. <laughs> Some of these deaths are hilarious. I'm, I'm sorry, dude. I mean, it looks like I can grind on that. At, 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 the, at least you can see my frustrations, and you yeah. can feel that you, you know we're, we're suffering together. Right, and I'm looking at these deaths, and a lot of them are, I don't want to say warranted, but I understand how you died. So I'm, I'm like not that mad. It's just like okay, another death, really? Okay. Yeah, I know, it's, it's just, it's just when you, when it happens, just, uh. <laughs> So, alright, I'm thinking ignore Eggman, but I can't get past here, so I guess I gotta light the fucking lantern to get through anyway, so, God, this, hey, well. this game design sucks, they want you to take the neutral route, but hey, can you do me a favor here real quick, oh, while you're here. And now, uh, well, I'm glad that the, uh, th that the good and dark aren't exactly connected all that much. Mm hmm because otherwise Amy would say, Hey, I saw him helping Eggman earlier. <laughs> so I, I, had to, I had to get through. I had to get through. I'm just thinking Amy rats you out, and all of a sudden all the Sonic characters are against you, and Eggman's like, Ha 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 ha! Yeah, that's a great way to fuck up a perfect hero route. God, that would suck. I'm glad they well, didn't go that route. So I, I guess it's just with a little bit of uh, deeper critical thinking, how even the not so great Sonic games could be oh, 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 a lot worse. <laughs> exactly. There are so many like instances where one small change could ruin the entire thing. Now, unless if we're talking about a game like Sonic 06, in which case it's like the difference between huh, should I uh, get shit on or should I get shit on an open wound? Mm-hmm. <laughs> So, yeah. you know, yeah, you, get, you gotta pick your battles, I guess. I mean, you know, yeah. It's actually funny, uh, a guy I follow, he, uh, he's a streamer, 
and uh, one of his Patreon goals was to play through Sonic 06, but do a speed run of it. And oh, in an ironic sense, great. he has now gone to start loving the game. <laughs> so he's just like, oh yeah, g- game's pretty great. <laughs> that's game- stock- Dude, that's Stockholm yes, Syndrome. I was just thinking that's, that's Stockholm what the, that's Syndrome. That's what that is. It's like, I have to love it, otherwise I will get hurt. And it's my even- safety is only through my captor. It even got to the point where he was like, okay, I'm so close to beating the record on this level. I was like, D- you you managed to beat the level. That's enough. You don't have to do anything else. If I press the X button, I can spin along oh. this slime trail. Sonic 06, my god. Yeah, we're probably never going to get there. I mean, I, there's so many b- more projects that I want to do before I go through, like, hours and hours of failed recordings just to get to, like, one level done. You don't have to do the 100% S rank. Don't do that to yourself, oh, man. Oh, but it I... sounds like so much fun. Dude, I care about you. Please, don't do this. Don't do this. I mean, I'm taking a look at it, and I'm like, it can't be that bad. It looks did like you... fun. Did you play it? Huh? Yeah, I did. Did, did you beat, beat it? it? No, no, I f- no. I fucking beat it. Huh? You don't know. Huh? <laughs> because you, because it's not only about the shitty fucking Sonic levels you got to worry about, or the weird fucking boring shadow levels, but it's also the broken goddamn silver, silver levels. levels. Yeah, don't do that to yourself. <laughs> okay. Please, I I might I might meet you that because I have seen silver stages. They are a nightmare. You've got friends who care about you. You've got a family. You've got two wonderful, three wonderful sisters who care about you. They, you do not want to do this to them. Oh, Don't do man. that to yourself. It's bad enough you're fucking doing two goddamn Persona 3 Let's Plays at the same time. So not only do you gotta play the same damn game, you gotta play an inferior version of the same game again. Woo! <laughs> We, oh, this is why we don't drink so much. <laughs> you kidding? That's get, why I'm drinking more. It's <laughs> getting real. It's getting too real. <laughs> then how the hell did we come up with a multiplayer episode that solid gold? Like, how many carrots do you think that, that episode was? Because I think it was a pretty awesome episode, and so does everybody else. Which episode? Oh, the drunk multiplayer. Oh, that one. Solid gold, that one. Oh, can we do that for Shadow? Can we do that for Shadow? Get, oh, this game has multiplayer, right? There is a two-player mode. Oh, shit, dude. We need to find a day. Oh, uh, is, is that the twist I was hinting up to? Oh, man. <laughs> well, um, no, it isn't. Oh. That, I mean, that's the, the thing we're going to do. I mean, we're going to be doing the, the drug multiplayer. Uh, yeah, yeah. Before, before we do the... Fu- the Final thing we're doing is drum multiplayer, but uh, again, play through six, A rank. It's gonna get crazy. Damn, that's three A ranks in a row. Good job, dude. I'm doing pretty good. No, I think the last one was a B rank, wasn't it? I I don't remember. (laughs) You think I can remember five minutes ago? Nah. I'm good at I'm good at video games. (laughs) I'll take your word for it.